Someone wise once said that truly transformative adventure requires two key components. The first, the idea. Our idea was to leave behind the busy Camino de Santiago and find silence in the mountain paths to seek clarity while facing wild animals and enjoy some gourmet hiking food. Just kidding. Have you seen there was a bear in a village close to Oviedo? No way. And of course, coffee, the second idea. To walk in the 125 kilometers of Camino San Salvador, we needed plenty of liquid motivation. These are the journals from the wildest Camino we've ever experienced. Ah, Leon, what an incredible place to start the journey. Right in the heart of Spain, along the Camino de Santiago, is where our story begins. The preparation for the week-long hike. As Erika Italian heritage demands, the first thing we had to do was to stock up on food, since there are plenty of stages where supplies are hard to come by. Tomatoes, noodles, maybe we can buy these. Well, I brought it, the small noodles that you just put the hot water so okay. they are lightweight. Okay. A bread with avocado, a, a can of tuna, uh -huh. dried fruits and banana. I just wondered who would end up carrying all this. The second thing to consider is clothes and gear. You will need three layers for most of the season, including the down jacket for those chilly late afternoons and the albergues. And rain gear. Because if you look at the path, it seems suspiciously green. Unlike the usual Camino, this one has more days of climbing, so good ankle protection is a must. And of course, a solid pair of hiking poles, essential for navigating mud, bushes, and occasional stray dogs. You see, Camino San Salvador was on every medieval pilgrim's bucket list, as it passed by the famous Cathedral of Oviedo, where kings kept the collections of the sacred relics, from pieces of St. Thomas sandals to the revered Holy Shroud. But back then, the path wasn't well marked, and the wild animals weren't exactly as humane as they are today, so it wasn't as busy. Now the Camino is regaining its glory. There are albergues and bars along those 125 km route, though we didn't expect any 5-star experiences. The path follows the same yellow arrows and scallop shells as other Caminos. And this is the new sign that we have to follow. Camino San Salvador, Leon Oviedo. Let's go. And the coolest part. Camino San Salvador has its own credentials and stamps, which you can pick up in a few spots along the Camino and in Leon. Sign up for our mailing list below and we will send you a PDF guide along with the GPS maps of the official route. There is one more important aspect of every journey we embark on. Don't rush. Take time to enjoy the place to connect to your intentions.
We each have our own way of approaching the journey. Erica journals and reflects of how she feels. While Ricky connects with nature, finding calm and really digging into why he's on this path. Buen camino. Buen camino. Chao. Chao, buen camino. Buen camino. Chao. We are here at the Parador San Marco. This is where Martin Sheen, if you remember, stayed with his friends when they wanted to treat themselves. It's how, how much is it for a night? 300 euros but you plus. Have the, you have pilgrim discount if you want to stay. So here is where the pilgrimage diverge. So if you want to keep going for the French way, you go left. Just there. That way. And if you want to keep going for the San Salvador, you go there. Let us show you. Let's show let you. Let us yeah, actually let's... show you. So we're going to put you here into the context of our first day, which is not really early. Eh? No, no. We it's not pilgrim life. Pilgrims usually start really early. You would see like thousands of pilgrims walking here. There is actually two sitting here on the bench. Uh, and a few other ones coming. But we go in the other way. How does it feel, baby, to go the other way? Badass. Badass. <laughs> you know, this is the funny thing, because when you start the Camino San Salvador, you can go under the San Marcos Bridge, which is like this badass entrance, or you can go on the right of this monumental building, and um, you can go under the other bridge, but you still go under the bridge. Badass pilgrimage it is. Yeah. Ha! So, this San Marcos. And just on the side, on the right side, we're gonna turn and divert into... How many days are we gonna take here? Maybe six, maybe seven. We still don't know. We still don't know how many... Well, we saw the forecast and there, there is a chance of rain, so we don't know how we are gonna do it. Why are you walking so fast? Oh, mommy, why are we walking so fast? Because we have to get to the ah. side. We cannot bab babble all the way through. Okay, okay, okay.
There are many arrows, but the one that matters is this yellow one. llamar, ok? 649 the end. 749. Yes. You don't know numbers. días, ¿qué tal? Es el albergue de peregrinos de Cabanilla. Vale, eh, solo para pensar que somos dos peregrinos y nosotros tenemos intención de quedarnos ahí. There is a telephone number. Can you call it and they take your details? Ajá. Uh -huh. We have food. We possibly have a place to sleep. We just need to walk and get there. Captain, ah. where are we going? We're going up the stream, <laughs> according to the arrows. Okay? Okay. Because the, it's not my idea, I just the arrows goes there. So I just go, they indicate.
we keep following the arrows. Ah, the smallest arrow <laughs> ever. Smallest. Look at that. Look at the other one. On this Camino, they don't have a big budget for big signs. Yeah, okay, so that's in case you go in here or there. Imagine. <laughs> here, there is another one. Another one. <laughs> mm. Look, uh, I think that the main route has this sign and the alternative by the river has only the sign by on the ground. Uh -huh. So we're going through the woods and it's beautiful. You see at those oaks, you know, really tiny evergreen oaks. Um, and and we're finding the arrows absolutely everywhere. Yeah. If, if you lost, it's because, because you want to get lost, you know, otherwise, why would you get lost on this? So there, the, there is another one. Another one, another one. So a part of the, the old school uh, indication on the ground plenty of arrows written painted on the trees and on the stones yeah. and also the indications 
normal, like the official ones. Yeah, in the kitchen. Here is another one. Another one here. And actually, it's like a proper arrow, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so far, so good. Yeah. Where are you going, baby? Ah, I have no idea. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna fall like last time? No, I didn't fall. <laughs> and now my turn, eh? Yeah. Let's see. Cracks. Getting old, eh? No, it's because we have a lot of food. <laughs> How heavy is that? Eight kilos. I don't believe you. Eight kilos point four almost. Yeah. And this is all, this is now that I finished almost one bottle of water and then I lost one flip-flop. Uh, how many? 9.3. Amore, oh. I'm gonna give you something of mine. Oh. With Camino tellers, you're not gonna starve. Never, never. Better full than dead. <laughs> Break it. Mm. Mm. Wow. No, uff, I wanted you to swim. Oh. Goodies. Wow. First aid kit. write something yeah yeah let's write something down do you have a pen let's write happy days yeah mm, good idea oh yeah this is from now 24 six. let's see if there is a robin comment let's go in the end what day is it today 8 of june 9th 14 no no nothing no. from robin Okay, right, happy days from Camino Tellers.
Come, I'm gonna show you the house for today. <laughs> so here we have the coffee machine which doesn't work for today. It doesn't work for tomorrow either. Some really expensive food. <laughs> but you still have food. Come, 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 come. Ta -da! What is that? This is our room for today. We have only four beds, but we're five people. <laughs> so our Ricky is sleeping here. Ah, you have the book Camino San Salvador. The one that we have in PDF. Yes. Nice one. Do, you, do they have two? No. Okay. And then decided, I decided to sleep here. With the porch. Mm, that looks comfortable. Could you show me other parts of this albergue? Do you want to see the toilet? It's a big toilet. And what about your flip flops? <laughs> I lost mine on the way. I don't know. Once I realized it was too late, so I stole Ricky's flip-flop. Ah, you stole Ricky's flip-flop? Yeah, he's wearing sandals, he's fine. Oh, that's dark. Okay. So we have a room shower. Go in, please. A room shower. A room shower. So big. And you know what? I love the fact that we are only two women and the other women or woman already took a shower so I could take it take my time. Ah, <laughs> that's the man. Beautiful, nice and this clean. is your color, Ricky. This is my color. <laughs> <laughs> you got the toilet wrong. <laughs> okay. And shall we have dinner? I'll show you the dinner that we're gonna How was the kitchen? Show me the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen, the kitchen. Is the light here? Mm, we have cups. It's a pity we don't have coffee. They are not gonna fix the machine for mm, tomorrow. No. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Empty. So I imagine we have a Empty. microwave. Empty. Okay, microwave. Good enough. And we have the noodles. The Japanese noodles. Are we gonna eat on this massive table, right? Looks good this place, no? So we have here one pilgrim from uh, Holland and So we have one pilgrim from Holland and a couple from Spain uh, and yeah and Long table. I was ready to sleep on the on the table, eh? It was like a deja vu. Uh, we did it before, no? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, it looks really comfortable, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to open it, yes? Okay, okay. Oh. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, and everything is getting wet. What do you say? Nah, details. Look at that, we'll look at see what's going on on the floor. Thank, Thank you for, for subscribing! subscribing.